kidnappers have released the 27 remaining students abducted from Federal College of Forestry Mechanization, Afaka, Kaduna State. One of the persons who received the students confirmed the news to Daily Trust. He said the release was facilitated by the Sheikh Abubaka Gumi Dalo Committee with support from former President Ulushegun Obasanjo. The students were among the 37 abducted almost two months ago. After payment of ransom by parents and school management, the bandits only released 10 of the victims. The chairman of the parents' committee, Abdullahi Usman, confirmed the release of the student to Chinese television. He explained that the victims were released some minutes past 4 p.m. around the uh, Kidanda area in Giwa local government area of the state. According to him, the released students were on their way back to the state capital. Mr. Usman, however, refused to disclose the amount paid as ransom to the bandits. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Gumi will not be happy now. Uh -huh. Gumi will, will be happy. The most important thing, thank God for those children. I don't understand. I can't really understand because only God knows what they must have gone through. You can't even imagine what they went through. But the question is that, the issue now is that, how will this thing not repeat itself? That is where we are, what we are supposed to be bothered about. We should be bothered about this. We should be concerned. How will this thing not repeat itself again? That is it. What are they doing to make sure, or what are they going to be doing to make sure that this thing will not repeat itself again? What are they going to do? That is the most important thing because no be so good a deal because with the way the government and the security uh, agencies are going about this whole thing, there is no hope or there is no hope in sight or you can see. So God be the glory, congratulations to the parents of those students big congratulations to them big congratulations to them remaining the greenfield university students all these threats that uh, the bandits uh, talked about that they are going to do this some days back on tuesday we've not even heard anything about it everybody everywhere just quiet my concern is that how will this thing other people will not fall victims of this thing that is what my that is what i'm concerned about Okay, I'm sure Gumi will be so happy. Well, Shay Gumi, well done, oh, our Minister of Bandit Affairs. Hmm. What a mischievous man. Will indeed. President Buhari and Gumi is the leader of bandits in Nigeria. These two people are using kidnapping as money-making venture. We don't welcome this nonsense response. Dear God, please let these bandits turn the barrel of their guns against Gumi, Erufai, so that the world will know that you made the lives they are wasting innocently god i beg you congratulations to the students may the souls of the dead one rest in perfect peace may god expose the uh, the actors soonest or the abductors soonest and may they pay for all their crimes amen my brother god bless you thank god they will soon kidnap another student because it's their regular bushes business from our leaders what are they putting in place to make sure that this kind of a thing will not happen again? Nothing. Nothing, no. <laughs> hey. You know, when I hear some things happen to some people, and at the end of the day, if it happens to other people again, I would, just, I would just like, hey, the people that it happened to before, you know, the people that are not experiencing it, they never envisage that it could be get there to their turn. I would just be wondering that, oh, when something of such happened before, you know, they would, they would themselves will be contributing. They will be talking, oh, why did this thing happen? But they never knew that uh, the next one that will happen is going to uh, uh, bounce on them. You know, it's unfortunate. Who knows? Who knows next? Because these guys are not just serious. These Nigerian politicians, eh, I've never seen something that would, because now that we even shake them, because now it's becoming a normal thing, a routine thing, that it will just happen and it will just go like that and they will overcome it and that is it. As it, it will not become normal thing in the society. This useless government that was against and forbidding Jonathan's government to negotiate with terrorists are the ones paying Fulani terrorists up and down and they think they will stop. Another group will keep abducting abducting anytime they are broke look at how that gumi is making all of you one nigeria idiot that fell to see that failed to see and write uh, so see the handwriting on the wall okay oh it's a big shame i don't even know 
what international community will be saying about this uh, kind of country where a certain person are just running the state like we are in Afghanistan. These people are the Taliban's never head of a government is wrong like this. It's wrong like this. Please God, have mercy. These are reactions of people. You see Nigerians, Erofai said he will not pay uh, a dime to bandit. You said it's atlas. Buari was paying. You said he's pacifying the bandits. I know even Almighty God cannot rule Nigerians because we are too parochial. That is not the issue. Let them do the right thing. If the right, thing, right things are being done or right things are being done from the onset, all these things will not be will not be what we are going to be celebrating. Nobody is even talking about Nigeria is going to move forward economically. You see where we are focusing our all our lives on, on this nonsense in that we ought to have gone gone past through all these things. See what we are focusing. Nobody is talking about a development, a whatever. Nobody is even talking about a, a economy. You just have to be alive because before you talk about economy, but is that not retrogression? The issue not thank God I'm fine. Thank God everything is fine. We still have some people that need to be released. The issue is that why should this thing not happen again? That is my own concern. You know, I me mean, I've been saying it. It should not happen again. That is what we are saying. So that they will put a lot of things in place. Well, if we should start talking about Jonathan, let's move forward. He was voted out by you politicians. Uh, uh, politicians are playing with your heads unless you know who you are. To God be the glory, we await to receive similar news for other students being heard, including students of Greenfield University, Kaduna. Amen, amen. For two whole months, what have they been eating? Hmm. What the bandits were, were eating? Huh? Go and ask them. Thanks, Gumi. Please don't forget the Greenfield University. They are thanking Gumi. Hey, Jesus. The, this are the, the, the elected, somebody will say some people don't have that mandate. Obasanjo does not have mandate. Oh, as we speak now, Gumi does not have mandate. The ones that have mandate, they will say you. They want. Oh my God, oh my God, God is even trying. You know? honestly, God is trying with the kind of people He has created. He's trying. What a needless pain in a reckless society. This impunity, the impunity is wickedness. Must stop. This impunity of wickedness must stop. Those that sow wins will reap sums. Let restructuring of minds start from individuals to the larger society and from leadership to the community for us to have a sane society. The society is really sick. Oh God, divinely help us. The change we are talking about must start from the top. It must start from the top. Yes, it must start from the top. Without starting from the top, nothing will happen.